Hi everyone, it's still September 14, 2018. I got a comment from someone who said that either they heard from somewhere, uh, someone, I, I don't know where they heard this information, but Dare County officials were beginning to allow people to return to Dare County, North Carolina, but they needed to prove with a license showing a local address, a property tax bill, or parcel data sheets. Now, what if you evacuated from Dare County? And this is Dare County, by the way, okay? These are the northern beaches uh, in North Carolina. Corolla Duck, Kitty Hawk, Kill Devil, love those names. Nags Head, um, is that Hatteras? I'm not even sure how to pronounce that, but all right. This is also Manteo, is in Dare County. Last night, I went to Intellicast and I saw that on radar, well, they must be getting, you know, some high winds and uh, lots of rain. Then I went on webcams, and I'm going to show you some of those live webcams. Um, well, it just didn't seem to be all that much, that big of a deal. All right, so they're going to begin tomorrow a phased reentry into these into Dare County. Phased reentry. Um, Permanent residents will be allowed re-entry with a valid North Carolina driver's license with a local address, property tax bill, parcel data sheet. Why? Well, if these areas had a tremendous amount of damage and, well, they didn't want looters coming in, then I could see the reason for this, perhaps. But I don't understand it based on what I have been seeing on these webcams. I, If you know anybody who lives in this area, in Dare County, and they want to go back home, you should send them the links to these uh, webcams. This is Manteo, Dare County. I showed you this earlier in a video. Uh, it looks like it might be drizzling and there's electricity. It was dry earlier. You watch it long enough and you will see, you know, either people walking by or cars driving. Um, but no flooding whatsoever, no damage whatsoever. You can even go tonight uh, to these webcams and see these beaches in Dare County. This is Nags Head. And, well, let me refresh and see if I can get it working. Um, I went to Wellhead webcam and that was last night, and people were walking on the pier. They had electricity. The, um, which one was that? I think this is the one. You can watch even at night. You know, you can see that the actual beach, which will come into focus when the webcam, um, it begins to turn around and today earlier when I was looking at these webcams the webcam begins to move inland and you see homes there was no flooding no damage to the homes everything was fine this is um, so why is this doing this? This is Jeanette's Pier in Nags Head. 
Now you see the beach. All right. Well, it's just a normal um, wave of a beach, but it swings over to this pier, and there are so many people on the pier at night, and they're still fishing with no damage whatsoever to the pier. And eventually, it goes, you know, further down. And you do see people fishing, or is it another video that I was watching? Shoot, now I can't even remember. But as you can see, no damage to these piers at all. Um, no damage to this pier. This is Corolla. The <laughs> live webcam at the Hatteras Harbor Marina. This is live. No damage to the marina, no damage to any boats, nothing. And no flooding. So why are they having to do these phased re-entries? It is concerning that they're doing this. This is a site with a lot of webcams, and I will link to it below. But you can also go to North Carolina Department of Transportation and look at these travel or these, um, you know, road and street webcams. This is Dare County. And, well, this is Hillcrest. No flooding. And even at night, um, Powell's Point. This area has electricity. Going further down, Swan Circle. You can tell there's no flooding in this area. And it also looks like no damage whatsoever. 9.14, 10, 15 p.m. And even the still images, they change periodically. So they're like updating the still pictures. Because the first time I came on here, I didn't see anybody in this picture. But here, there's no flooding whatsoever. And they have electricity. This is Helga Street, US 158. No damage, electricity's on, power's on, no flooding. And you can take it um, pretty far down. Jockey's Ridge, no flooding, electricity on. Boy, you guys were lucky, huh? Uh, Wall Drive. Perfectly fine. And Mall Drive. Mall Drive, I'm sorry, not Mall Drive. And the last camera is close to um, Hatteras. But the further you go down, I'm sure the more. Um, the more isolated is the area. So these, you just have dark pictures. Temporary bridge inlet. Um, the Boner Bridge. Perfectly fine. All right. I just wanted to point that out. Something is very wrong here. But. Yeah, you can even go to these uh, webcams <laughs> at night and you will catch people walking on the pier, people fishing still out in North Carolina. So, yeah, um, 
Comment below. What do you think they're doing? Are they just conditioning Americans to get used to, you know, having to cross checkpoints, having to prove their identity? But think about the people who don't drive. Certainly there might be someone there, you know, from Dare County that doesn't have a license and they don't they didn't think to bring their property tax bill or their parcel data sheet with them. How did they get in? This is insane. It sounds a little police state-ish to me. What does it sound like to you? But do you, you know, the Hatteras, the towns of Hatteras are flooded. Well, um, not the marina. Not the marina at all. Doesn't look like anything, anything was damaged. All right, links are below. Ciao, guys.